Okay, here's the scoop. I made art for Chris Howe like a couple months ago. Oh, and the camera and the lion, Canadian flag. And then he asked me to draw on some photos, which I did. And then he posted said photos on Instagram the other day. And then I posted a photo that I drew on. And that caused some commotion. Uh, a lot of people asking how I drew on my photo and Chris's photo. So this is my first ever tutorial and it's gonna be how to draw on photos with and without an iPad, so stay tuned. Also, if you're not following Chris and I on Instagram, well, I'll, I'll put our Instagrams right here and uh, do what you please. First things first, find a worthy photo. I try to find something with maybe um, enough space around a subject. Really just any photo that you think might be good. Um, just try it out and it's a whole, you know, trial and error thing. So anyway, I have one photo of Chris that I liked. The first thing I did is print it out at like 10% opacity. So after it's printed out, uh, the next step is to simply just draw on the photo however you want. The next step after that is to just scan that photo um, onto your computer. Uh, I scan it as a .tiff and I do at least 300 dpi uh, for resolution um, and then just save it to your computer. Once you have your picture, I wanna go ahead and open with uh, Adobe Illustrator. I'm sure you can do this in Photoshop, but this is the way I learned how to do it. Um, I go to Illustrator and then Photoshop, so we'll just have to deal with it. So all I'm gonna do in Illustrator is really just click on the, click on your photo, go to, um, go to edit, image trace, make and expand, hit okay. So what I did is pretty much just make it into a vector so it's easy to resize um, my doodles. So what I'm gonna do now is just hold Shift, Command D to make the background transparent. And then Y will give you your magic wand and then you can delete your background. So now all you have left is your doodle. So then you're gonna wanna open up Photoshop. You wanna open up the original photo that you, that you picked and then what I'm gonna do is just make a, a new document. I'm gonna make it eight, oh, I gotta change it to inches by 10. Now eight by 11, and I'm just going to drag the original photo onto this new eight by 10, expand it so it fits. And so now I basically have um, a paper sized version of the photo of Chris. So now I'm going to go back into Illustrator and just click and drag and over Photoshop, hover back over Photoshop, and then just simply release. And now you have your uh, vectorized doodle on top of the photo. I'm gonna move it up a little bit more. So if you wanna use the full picture, what I do, I just grab the two layers from the eight by 10 and just drag it back on over to the original sized photo. Shrink this down so it fits. Perfect. We're gonna delete the other layer. So now you have your overlay. So to make it easier, I'm gonna switch my doodle to a white. So now, here is where you're gonna do some erasing and uh, make it look like the doodles are going in and out of Chris. So all you wanna do is zoom in a little bit, a layer mask, um, and with this, all you wanna do is with the brush tool, shrink it down a little bit. Um, your brush tool is gonna to allow you to erase um, anything you want to erase. So what I do, actually I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more simply just erase here and uh, what I'm doing I have a 0% hardness and uh, just a 40 size paintbrush and simply just gonna erase until it looks good 
and you can zoom out a little bit and you can already tell that it looks like a 3D effect. And same thing on the other leg, just gonna brush away, brushed away too much. So what you can do is use your eraser tool, almost like your brush tool and erase back some of your doodle if you need to. And so that's pretty much it. I, I kind of like the way that's looking. So what I'm gonna do now is just add a slight drop shadow. Um, go to normal, drop down the opacity like, I don't know, 25% or something like that. Maybe even less. Uh, let's see. Just mess around with the settings as you like. Nothing's, you know, there's no right way to do this. And if you want, um, I kind of like the white, but you can go ahead and change the color of your doodle. And that is that. It's a little bit longer process to do it without an iPad, but it can be done. So there's actually an easier way to draw on pictures. Um, it's with an iPad, but right now at this moment, I don't have an iPad. So let's go get an iPad and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so now that you got your iPad, let's uh, let's head home. Okay, I am now home and now about to open up this iPad and show you how to doodle. So first things first, pencil. And then we have Oh, baby. Oh, wowzers. Okay, so I've never, this is obviously my first day with an iPad. So this is like my best guess on how I think it could be done. So what we wanna do first is open up Adobe Illustrator. Let's just do iPad Pro, and we're gonna add another layer. Uh, we'll do image on my iPad, all photos. This one of Chris, cool. So now we're gonna use the brush on the left. Double tap, and you can control your size. And uh, we'll choose the color. We'll go just basic white. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and just start drawing. And just like um, with Photoshop on the computer, we're gonna go ahead and just erase some of the, the lines to make it look like it's 3D. We're gonna change the size, bring that down really small, and then we're just going to, uh, we're going to erase. And as you can tell, this is like 110% faster than, maybe even like 1000% faster than printing out a photo and drawing on it, scanning it, bringing it to Illustrator, bringing it to Photoshop. Right here, you can just use Illustrator. Excuse me, you can just use Illustrator and draw on it. So it's bada boom, bada bing, you know what I'm saying? I actually kind of like the way this one came out way better than the other one. Um, just like with the pressure sensitive pencil, it really gives you like full reign to do whatever you want. But, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is my first ever tutorial. Um, I really just did it because a lot of people were just asking for this tutorial specifically. So um, if you liked it and you want to know how I do some other things, just please let me know. But with all that being said, thank you for watching. Thank you, Chris, for giving some photos to draw on, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.